Hey, what's going on guys? Chris back with you with another unboxing and review video. And this right here next to me is the upgraded model from one we've previously reviewed on this channel. The Solom S60 is the previous one I actually still have out on my balcony right there, getting direct sunlight and being able to wirelessly charge itself back up with its solar panels and be able to shine down on my front porch so I know who's there. So I don't have to go all the way from upstairs while I'm working downstairs. If it's just a solicitor or if it's just a UPS guy that hits it and then bails, Amazon hits the doorbell and then gets out of there. And then I'm like, who's that? You know, is it, what's going on? So you can check on your camera. It recharges itself. Once it's mounted, all it needs is direct sunlight. You view it over the app. Everything is beautiful. I love the previous version and I'm expecting big things from their newest one, which is right here, the S90 Pro. And guys, just like all my unboxing and review videos in the description box, below the video is going to be this exact same solar wireless camera and you guys over in the UK I will have you linked as well look for your links below the video right there we'll give you full specs as we unbox this and take it for a test run test footage of course this is full HD you can monitor it and you can download the app through the Google Play Store for Android with Apple as well it has two-way audio where you can speak to your visitors or any intruders and you can also also listen as well. It has a microphone and a speaker. So over your app, you can tell the UPS guy, hey, leave my package. So those are actually really great features. It does also have motion detection. So if you set it up within the parameters of your settings, it will actually give you a notification on your phone and letting you know what is going on. You do have to play with those settings in the past. If it's been a really breezy day, sometimes you'll get false notifications. So just play around with that in the app. We will be showing you all that. Let's head on over here. Let's get it out of the box. Let's take it for a test run. Hey guys, if you're new here, welcome. We have a lot of fun here. Smash that subscribe button down below and turn on your bell notifications so when fresh content comes out, you're the first to know. All right, folding on up here, let's go ahead and look inside and see what we have. Behind the protective cover number one is gonna be our little welcome packets, our manual, dear valued customer, and the user manual, which I definitely recommend in going through that. Now, real briefly, I do want to run a couple specs by you guys that are going to be really helpful for you. And you can go ahead and pause this if you need a little bit more longer look at it here. Image quality is going to be full 1080p. The FOV is 160 degree angle, meaning the distance of how wide it looks. The camera lens. The video format is H.264. Frames per second is 15 frames per second. The SD card, you need to put in a minimum of eight gigabyte to a maximum of 64 gigabyte micro SD card. And I'll show you where that goes. And that is for video recording. There are no monthly fees with this. You can monitor it over the app without any charge, or you can record and view it. So if you want to record, you're going to have to get an SD memory card. I'll try to link that in the description box below as well. But mostly what I do with this particular system is I just monitor it live. But of course, if you have it and you want to be a little bit more secure, if anything does, God forbid, happen, you can record on the memory card and show that to the police as evidence. Like I mentioned, there is a built-in speaker, built-in microphone, and it is connected 2.4 gigahertz. Battery capacity is a 10,000 milliamp battery, which is very nice. Standby time is 8 to 12 months. Power consumption, 6W runtime, 0.003W standby. That's obviously why it can go for so long when it's on standby. Temperature is negative 20 degrees Celsius, upwards to 60 degrees Celsius or negative 4 Fahrenheit to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity, as we can see there. Android system, you're going to need 2.3 or above. iOS is 7.0 or above to use the app. Night vision is up to 32 feet. And and continuous daytime recording time, max 36 hours. Continuous night vision recording time, max 14 hours. The waterproof grade is IP66. Those are probably gonna be the most important specifications that you will need to know. So without further ado, let's see what we have inside the box. Let's get the boring stuff out of the way first. We have some drywall screws and anchors and an Allen wrench there. We have ourselves an, our nice little screwdriver right here. Very cool, Phillips head. We have a micro USB cable cord, and that is gonna be a guesstimation three feet, or right on the dot three feet, and that's USB to micro USB there. We also have three antennas. 
which are really beefy. And this is upgraded from the first generation, the S60, which is different as well. If you haven't seen that video of mine, look in the description box below. I will also link it at the end of the video as a referred video to watch. So we have three antennas, and here is our mounting bracket and our plate here. Very sturdy plastic, which is great. Our mounting screws go in the bottom, obviously four there. Allen wrench loosens that up so it's able to swivel side to side. Allen wrench loosens or tightens this, so this folds down or up for your different viewing angles. So once this goes on your side wall, wherever that is outside, onto wood, into stucco, this would swivel right to left. This would swivel up and down for your different viewing angles. That's a great mount. And now let's go ahead and bring up the camera. And that's gonna do it for the box there. Now right off the bat guys, this is a lot beefier of a camera than the older S60 model. Now the S60 model is still something that you can determine if you want or not. It's a lot smaller and you can actually take off the solar panels of the S60. This one is gonna be really beefy with those solar panels. Look at that right there. Solar panels flap down on the sides so you can get the afternoon sun or if it hits it directly on, have them up there completely so it hits all three panels for again the 10 thousand milliamp battery that's absolutely amazing we actually do on the back have our three antennas so that means this bad boy can definitely get signal to your cable modem router your mount obviously would just slip in right in the back here there is your speaker on the bottom with our folding flaps here fold all the way down and all the way down so if you wanted a nice little look to it here you could have it like that Obviously on the sides here are gonna be our night vision here. This is gonna be our 1080p camera lens right in the middle. This would be probably our motion detection on top here. Little logo on the top. Again, solar panel, solar panel. The back of it we've already seen, but we haven't seen what is inside here. Our weatherproofing little trap door there. Comes up to our power button, our reset button. A USB port, now for some oddball reason, if you're not getting as much sun as you originally anticipated, the USB port would be able to charge your camera. Here is your micro SD slot there. You would slip in your micro SD card, eight gigabyte memory minimum to 64 gigabyte maximum. Let's go ahead and put on the antennas and let me show you guys those. Each one screws on and then you are able to obviously swivel the antennas in the direction that you see fit. So they could go up, they could go this way, they could go this way. You could do this one straight up, you could do this one to the left and right, etc. So you can pick up the maximum signal from your cable modem router. All right, this is what it looks like here with the mount on and again, swivels to the right to the left, up and down. Now, one thing if you are concerned with the size of the camera, because this is definitely larger than the S60, this might be exactly what you've been looking for, or if this is too large, then you should go with the S60. And your next question is gonna be answered right now. You have playback of cloud length, eight seconds by default, and 20 free video clips per day. The oldest footage will be overwritten by the newest one per day and that is for free cloud storage. All right guys, let's go ahead and check out the app here. As we can see, this is my front door and I have it just mounted right out front and obviously you probably would have it down from your door, back door, side of your house, etc. But this is a great shot for me that I know when packages have arrived and this is really nice. I already do have a doorbell camera so that gets that shot so I like one a little bit lower here but I'm just going to be showing you the different options. So as we can see there a very nice crisp HD picture. You can make out the plant, you can make out the little cat to the left, the doormat. We have the time and date stamp right there on the top left. And sometimes it depends on your internet connection, it will be jumbled a little bit. We see that the time stamp is actually moving there, but it's moving a little bit slower. I think it kind of skips a second there. 
So you will have a few little hiccups. I've noticed that may depend on your internet. That may depend on where you have the camera. I actually am using a Wi-Fi extender. We'll get to that in the video because this is outside. Let's go ahead and look at the top right. The top right will actually show you right there. The sun is not directly on it, but it is getting enough sun, which is really nice. As you can see, the front porch does not have direct sunlight, but it is getting light, which is keeping the battery nice and charged, as we can see there. We can see that we also have a nice connection over Wi-Fi, and we also see that there is one user. Now I'll show you a way where you can share a QR code reader, and I actually have that on my Android tablet. So in the app here, we can cord, we can take a still shot, we can turn this little tab there, and uh, I can hear from the microphone. I actually can hit the other one. I won't do it right now because it's obviously outside, probably scare my neighbors. But the one in the middle, you go ahead and hit that one and then speak when you want to speak and it will light up. And if you don't want to hear any outside noise, you just go ahead and click that voice off there. Now, if you don't use an SD card, there is cloud storage. And because it's in front of my door, I don't have any cloud storage. And if you do record any video, you would go down here to bottom left. And here we go. So I actually was playing around with it upstairs. And there is when I hit record, and as you can see there, a nice crisp indoor shot as well. So that's where your stored record, for some oddball reason, if your camera trips and you don't have a memory card in there, it will actually record to your phone. And that's how I was able to get that album there, is that actually recorded to my phone and not the SD card in the camera. Here in the settings, you have cloud storage or SD card orientation, environment, PIR, you can have it high, medium, or low, or I believe even off, the dormancy time, frequency, the LED lamp, device name and passcode, there is the share QR code. I won't actually let you guys see that because I don't want obviously anybody hacking into my system. And so some great options in settings there as well. And then you can obviously toggle between SD video and HD video. And like I mentioned before, the top right there, you'll see user one. Now, when I'm logged in on my Android tablet, that will actually go to two. So if you have it shared with multiple people, you actually can see that other people are viewing the camera. You won't be able to tell who is viewing the camera, but you'll be able to tell what how many people are viewing. All right here, guys, I want to show you something that uh, my camera caught. This was while I was at church, and it actually was very nice because I do have it on the high setting. As you can see there on the left, you can see my neighbor's door. So let's go ahead and go to cloud storage. Now, what's really nice also is that this is not getting direct sunlight, but I'm still charging, as we can see in the top right. Again, follow the directions of the camera. You fully charge it with the micro USB cable, and then the sun will keep it charged. Let's go ahead and now go to the bottom cloud storage, and I'll show you what my camera picked up in the cloud storage. There are about eight second clips, and sometimes you have to position your camera a little bit differently if you want to pick up the whole scene. But since this is just in the bottom corner next to the cat, you can see my neighbors are actually just closed the door there, and the camera was able to pick up that very small little activity in the left section next to the cat. Let's play that one more time. The camera clicks on, and then you see their door close right there. And actually, I don't know if you heard that, but I actually heard the sound of the door closing because the camera picked that up. So if someone was talking in front of your door suspiciously or whatnot, it would be able to pick that up. All right, so we got a uh, notification on my phone, and uh, you can, of course, uh, distinguish between the different notifications that you are able to receive if you don't want to be bothered or if this is a key feature that you might like. So I went ahead and tapped on it, led me to the app course, and we're going to go ahead and see in the cloud storage what has transpired. Here is a live view right here. I can see that someone has stopped by. I can see that someone has put a real estate flyer on my door. And let's go ahead and now go to bottom left cloud storage here. And so this, check this out. So we're gonna obviously look at night feature, the night vision a little bit better because obviously we're still pointing at the bottom of the door and I want you guys to see what this thing looks like. Okay, so let's go ahead and go on here. Again, there are eight second clips. And so I opened the door and then it triggered it. So you definitely want to go ahead and obviously place the camera. So let's go ahead and look at that one more time. So 
I'm actually closing the door completely and my feet are on the doorstep and I'm going out to throw the garbage away. It has the timestamp, everything in the top left there. So that might have caught it a little bit belated, but this one catches a little bit earlier. I'm walking into the door and then closing it behind me there. So just place the camera appropriately where you want it to maybe pick up a little bit more. So if you want to pick it up, I would actually skip the plant to the right and crank it over to the left a little bit more so that you could see if that gives you a good idea of what I'm talking about there. Let's come back to now, actually one more time here. So that is actually very nice. You can still see the welcome mat there on and you actually can hear the door shutting and unfortunately it won't let you rewind it over that taskbar. You just kind of have to watch it. As you could hear, as you could hear my door squeaking there. So that's actually picking up great audio here. Let's go ahead and see about this one here. So actually I had two real estate people drop stuff and you can hear some kids there in the background there. But let's go ahead and run through that. And then let's go ahead and check it out one more time. So she's already placed it down and then walking away, obviously, by the feet. I can tell it's a woman. Coming back over here to this guy, he's on my doorstep a little bit longer, putting one on my door handle. And so we need, actually need to go off and get those off of my door. Let's play it one more time. So he's taking his time a little bit, putting it around with a rubber band. That's why it caught him a little bit longer. Then the gal, probably as she set it down, it triggered the motion detection, but great features overall. Let's go ahead and take a look at a little bit more better of a footage of the night vision here. And we'll get a little bit more extended look without me walking in front of the door. We have my plant, my welcome mat right there, very sharp and crisp. As we can see the timestamp again in the top left corner of the screen. We've got some vases in the tile work of the front door there, as you can see. Looking really sharp, being able to light up the whole entire entryway there. And obviously, because it is the nighttime top right, we're going to see the battery indicator symbol not being charged because there is no direct sunlight. But as you can see... That has been outside for three days now with a full battery. Fantastic. Let me show you a few more clips here. Just a quick couple clips. Package being delivered there. Very nice. I know it's on my doorstep. Triggered it. Rang the doorbell and then walked away. And now let's go ahead and look at the one where I actually grab it. Very clear. Look at how colorful my socks are. Very nice high definition camera. I want to give you guys a couple little better shots of the camera because we were, you know, obviously pointing it down at my floor mat of my front door. So we're going to go ahead and cut the lights here. But as you can see, I'm in the background talking to you right now. And the overhead kitchen light is on above me right here with night vision is actually on. But we're going to go ahead and cut the lights so we can see exactly what it looks like here. So let's go ahead and cut those now. And there obviously will be just a second delay there. And then the night vision fires up here. So I'm wondering if we actually probably would get a little bit better of a shot. But the reflectiveness on the white banister is maybe doing it. So we'll try two different locations here. So I'm going to go ahead and move towards you. But you literally can see my stairs over here as I'm now approaching into the shot here. And there goes my other night vision camera. Um, you can't see that. I can't physically see that bright light right there, but the camera is picking it up night vision on night vision there as I'm walking into the picture here. So it's looking really good being able to identify the shirt and even my face. You could see my beard right here. We'll go ahead and get a little closer here. And if anyone was kind of uh, fidgeting around a little bit, see it takes a second for it to kind of go and see now you can see my features of my face obviously my eyes are a little bit creepy with night vision look at my shirt you can make out everything on my shirt great quality right there let's go ahead and try it from a different location down a little bit more but i don't want it to block with the white banister there and that looks great you can see all the way back to my kitchen table right over here and it's probably a little bit brighter that looks great you can make out my coffee table my coffee table rug right over here you can see all the way back to the wall back over here 
that you're looking at. Very, very nice. You can see my television area over here, my hoverboard right over here. That's great night vision. Okay, we'll go ahead and give you the next shot. It's gonna be the daytime. All right, let me show you a quick clip of during the daytime inside. It gets pretty dark in my house pretty quickly here, but this is what it picked up on motion detection. And as you can see there, very nice. Open space there, see my couch and everything, all the colors, looks great. Let's check out one more. I'm pretty sure it's the same exact thing or similar to it. Flashes, okay, there I am down bottom left. So you can see how clear I look in the daytime. And here's a little bit better of me walking around. Same outfit I had on yesterday. And occasionally you will get a little glitch like we just saw there with just a split second. Sometimes it does take a little bit of time to connect. We are probably within two or three second delay of me shaking my hand there. And so just understand that sometimes you will get a slight delay or a slight little glitch again like we just saw. I'm just letting you know that sometimes that does happen to me. If you have a quicker internet speed or a connection, it might or might not do that for you. So let me show you here what I'm particularly doing. So the camera, of course, was the outside shot there. And I have my repeater extender right on top of my little shoe rack here. And obviously outside the door is the camera shot of the front door there. So this helps it go through a door and walls being able to connect out there because my cable modem router is up here on the second story. And so it just wasn't able to connect directly. So if you are having issues, you will need to get an extender. This is a pretty inexpensive one, dual antenna, and that helped me to connect. And for the last portion, I'm gonna be showing you the two-way audio feature, or we've already kind of heard it a little bit. It's kind of a little bit tough because I have nobody here, and if I was upstairs, but uh, the volume is very good like we saw from the front door, ringing doorbells, the door going creak, and stuff like that. But now let's go ahead and listen in. I actually have my Android tablet here, so this is gonna be an easier way to show you here. So so obviously the camera's right there and right next to the little lamp there and we are viewing it right here so let's go ahead and hit uh, voice that would be for if we want to hear it so uh, let me see real quickly here so it picks it up a little bit um, kind of hard to tell in the video so uh, let's go ahead and go here so we're gonna go ahead and push this hello 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 what's going on hey what's going on so you're gonna hear feedback obviously because I'm too close, so we're gonna go back away. But, 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 hello. As you can hear there, that's really nice. That's good volume. Again, sorry, it's gonna, let me go ahead and cut that off there. Because the, uh, oh, actually, you know what? I'm sorry, hold on one second. I actually will know that it wouldn't pick up my voice too well. So it's going off of this microphone input, but let me try this one more time. Hello. Hey, what's going on? Hey, what's up? All right, okay. So we're probably getting a little bit of cell phone interference. Something's probably going on with the uh, interference there a little bit, so we'll go ahead and cut that off. But anyway, and I really like the Android tablet here, and uh, so check this out. It's actually uh, charging even with the fake lights, so fake sun. Obviously, my recessed lights are going on the camera uh, on top of the solar panel, and it's able to actually... Uh, keep it fully charged. So that is really cool. If for some oddball reason you felt like taking it indoors uh, and rather doing it how I'm doing it, that kind of defeats the whole purpose of solar. But I mean, teach their own. That gives you options for if your one of your windows has light pouring into it that's able to hit it to keep it charged. Uh, if you want to go from an indoor mounted area to an outside viewing, like maybe uh, up here, you know, and then you're looking through the window type thing like that. So there's some options for you guys there. Well, guys, overall, it is a nice camera. If this is a little bit too large for you, remember that it is packing a big battery, but definitely check out their S60 as well, the smaller version. But a good camera, clear HD, a couple glitches, a couple hiccups, slight delay in the app, but overall a great camera. And again, this camera is linked in the description box below where you can, again, read more about it, pick one up yourself, look at some other dimensions that I did not mention in this video, and you guys have a great day. We'll see you on the next one. Smash that thumbs up button if you appreciate the video to help you make an informed decision. Take care. Bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.